So, a very, very wet and mid-morning to you. And yet again, two Titans left. This one is a collection. And it's due to go out tomorrow. Final bit of test mileage to get on the bike. And I did say this morning, I'd get out early. It was hammering it down. It's now sort of drizzly fine water. Which means I'm still going to get wet. But needs must. So out riding customers at Blue Titan. And he's coming to pick this up tomorrow. I've got one more grey Titan that is being couriered over on Wednesday. So the ride test on that is going to be coming up hopefully tomorrow morning. Final ride test. Just to get some Ks on the bike. But so far so good. All these Titans are behaving themselves and running absolutely perfect. I've not had an issue yet with a Euro 5 Titan. Apart from the uh, odd Lambda sensor which you're going to get anyway. As I say, E5 fuel. Stick to your E5. Keep the good stuff in it. And uh, obviously if you are running it, make sure that you're running it in at 40 mile an hour. Taking it nice and steady. Doing the business. And that is horrible out there. The lens of the camera is probably already fogging up. I've got to learn a puddling along at 35 miles an hour on a dual carriageway. Put your foot down. Come on. Go, 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 go. Feeling so much better this week. Uh, I am down to about three, four cigarettes a day. Compared to the 20 that I smoke, feeling a lot better for it. I'm feeling very, very happy. Happy days. And as I say, there's nothing better than getting out on your bike and having a little bit of a run enjoying the freedom enjoying the open road i spoke about this yesterday having down days and good days and having loads of fun when you're out on a bike and as i say there's nothing to beat the thrill of being out just yourself the bike a little bit of engine noise potholes in the roads and in, yeah enjoying the potholes typical milton king's council now we're gonna have a little bit of a run down the a5 in a second God, that weather is coming in. It's back to raining again. Oh, great. Uh, wet clothes, wet face, wet helmet, wet camera. And no doubt the uh, the camera's probably fogged up by now. Or covered in water. Quick wipe again. Uh, one of the good things about having a drift, you can just wipe your finger over the lens and it, it normally solves the problem. But it is absolutely teaming it down now. Very wet RB. I'm just going to uh, shift to the other lane. Now obviously we had a good run to Super Sausage on Sunday. It was blisteringly cold. Very, very icy. They did have the Chilly Willy ride out to Northampton. Loads of guys went out on the Chilly Willy ride with the Brat Party and all of that. And from... <laughs> What I heard, there was quite a bit of ice out there. Quite a few people dropped their bikes in the ice, hence why I only did half an hour and came home. It was just too darn horrible out there. But out having a little run around on this, the Titan. And if you happen to be in Milton Keynes, we've got a new delivery of assaults that have just come in. We've got two of each colour. I've got viewings on those today. Hopefully the new trailer will arrive today. We have ordered a new bike trailer. Which means instead of fitting two in, I can now fit eight in there. More deliveries in the comfort of being in a Land Rover hauling the trailer rather than having to hand deliver. So with a bit of luck, we can have a little bit of fun. Now I think Phil is going to be uh, obviously driving that for the first few days because it is a very, very expensive trailer. It has all the bits on it. It will put hold to Chester suspension. If you happen to uh, obviously know Milton Keynes and Bletchley, this is hilarious. Look, look what they've done. No HGVs past this point. Okay, so if you've got a van, or you've got a big car, they are now putting in a concrete width restriction here and here. 
Lovely, thank you very much. Stick a width restriction in the middle of the road. Simple reason all the HGVs are going over the bridge. They repaired it once last year and the bridge is crumbling again. Which is what everyone said. You've got a dirty great dual carriageway just across there called the A5. Send them in through town. Oh no, let's all come down this way and let's, uh, let's damage the bridge. Don't stop us bikers so plenty of room for us to get through. So puddling along at a nice steady 40 because that's what the uh, speed limit is down here. The suspension is good, feel it bouncing around nicely, that is good, lovely and soft on the back side. Mirrors are working well. So we're going to have a little bit of a run out. I'm past caring now, I'm wet. But hence, uh, having decent jackets on. And obviously I'm in my uh, fibre ones today. I should have put my <laughs> my yellowy uh, Phillip Island on. Yeah, I've left that at home. Should have changed jackets. But, uh, who cares? It's all the fun of being a biker, getting out, getting wet, having a bit of fun. And then I can get back to the office and get all my deliveries ready for the day. And we're going to go back down into Bletchley. Got my uh, braking sorted out. There we go. Oh, pulls up nicely. And accelerates off the mark very, very well. So, no issues so far. 6k in. A little bit more test mileage to do. First thing in the morning, get the final ride up. But all the QCs, PDIs, bolt checks, everything has all been done. So very, very happy with the bike. All we need to do is get it back, give it a clean, and put a coat of ACF 50 on it. Still got my little sticky label there from where, where I had my sold sticker on it. So I'll get rid of that. And yes, again. Let me just jump off my throttle a minute and wipey the camera. You can just see <laughs> how much rain is out there. It's bloody horrible. So a couple of things that pin up, obviously. Uh, go and check out There's some great videos that I watched this week. Go and check out Hells on Two Wheels. He's looking very dapper in his suit, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Hells, or Drew as we call him. Um, he went and did a, a bartend at a family member's wedding and he's got his suit on, looks very, very dapper. He's obviously there with Crystal, his wife. But uh, yeah, great video. It was great to actually see him doing something different rather than being on his bike. And obviously I follow a lot of those channels with avid interest. There are a lot of bikers that I do follow and we do have a lot of fun with the boys. Burning Gas all in ass, he was on the live stream. Go and check his live stream out, he did a very, very good live stream. I actually said to him, I'll be on at 8 o'clock, and uh, I fell asleep on the sofa. I was so shattered from Sunday. I fell asleep on the sofa, and uh, by the time I got the live stream, I think it was about half past nine, so I missed most of the live stream. My apologies, Gareth. Uh, but uh, I was absolutely shattered. We have got one of my live streams this Friday. And we've got loads more bike rides done. My ZX7 is in. It's having a service and a full carb strip rebuild and calibration. But it goes up for sale shortly. So nice shiny ZX7R is up for sale at 3995 if you're interested. P2, Jap import. But as I say, if you're interested in a Lexmoto, Give a team at Eclipse a call 01908 643603. As always, thumbs up, likes, subscribes, comments all down the bottom. Check out in the description of all the Moto vloggers I follow. And on a Tuesday dinner time ish from RB, very, very wet, cold, but uh, smiling like a good one. It's a big goodbye from me.